So, welcome to the podcast of the MyML for Beginners. I'm Chris Moisey. I'm the uh, author of the blog. And I just wanted to take the time and sort of, I guess, sort of synthesize what we've learned, what the blog has covered so far. Sometimes it's a lot easier to uh, see to see what, um, to see and hear how things are done rather than just read it. I, I'm more of a visual and, and audio learner myself, so... Uh, I assume that some of the audience members sort of will benefit more from this than rather than reading about it. And um, so let's just get started. Uh, right now I've got Maya 2012 open. It's a student version. And let's imagine that I don't even have my script editor open. So I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of this stuff and start fresh. And uh, we can also show you how to open this stuff up. So th everything is gone. And um, what I want to do is I want to go to my display, UI elements, and open my command line. That'll open up my command line. That way I can open up my script editor, which is this little icon down here. Um, that opens up my script editor right there. Bam. Um, so I'm just deleting my or clearing my history just to start fresh. I also want to open up my shelf editor, uh, which I can do by um, going to my UL, UI elements and clicking on this shelf, bam. Uh, let's also get rid of this, um, well, don't worry about it. We'll just start fresh anyways. So let's assume that I've just been working on this really awesome uh, model uh, for the past few days. And if you're a modeler, you may want to really pay attention because sometimes throughout your workflow, you're going to want to center your pivots, freeze your transformations, uh, delete your history and then save your scene and I'm sure you know that that can be very time consuming sometimes uh, especially if you're in the zone it's not only time consuming it's just an inconvenience just to have to do that um, because like when you're in the zone and you're you know really just working away it's almost like an interruption um, and so we don't want that. We really just want to be, we want to spend more time being creative rather than just uh, having to deal with the technicalities of Maya, which is already a technical program anyways. We want to make things easier on ourselves. So, um, suppose I just made this wonderful, beautiful piece of art and imagine it's just taken me a long time and s the pivots are not centered and um, you know, the transformations haven't been frozen, so I want to do all that. Um, so normally, well actually let's go ahead and do this first. I'm going to open up my script editor and in my history pane you'll also notice that my history pane has a bunch of stuff. Look at all that. Um, that's because it's been recording every single thing I've been doing in Maya. Um, you can even see it's updating as I'm selecting things and moving pivots around. Uh, that can be a huge, enormous benefit because sometimes you want to create a mail script and you really don't even know where to start, but you know what you want, um, but you just don't know like w what commands you need to call. So this history uh, pane records all that stuff, and um, and it, you know you can really just sort of well I'll just show you. <laughs> um, so I'm going to select my object and I'm going to get rid of all this stuff again, and I'm going to make sure that my echo commands are selected. Um, that sort of echo all commands sort of hides or uh, makes visible sort of the ambiguous or you know uh, commands that you don't really need to see in your history pane. Um, but I want to make sure it is open because when I want to freeze my or if I want to center my pivots, um, I'm able to see that it it it's it shows. If I didn't have my my echo commands and I center my pivots, uh, I don't think it really shows. Yeah, so it doesn't show again, even though it is there. Uh, so, um, so right now, that's just that this line of text is actually the mel command or mel script for centering my pivots. Um, I wouldn't have known how to do that in the top of my head, or I have to go some, you know, I'd have to go back to finding and hunting to find out where to find it. So, also, I want to freeze my transformations. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of that stuff again and freeze my transforms 
And so this is actually the mouse script for uh, freezing my transformation. So I'm going to middle click and just drag that in there. And so it's really easy to make a mouse script this way because sometimes you just, like I said, you don't know where to find this stuff or how to really call on this stuff. So really you just sort of record these actions and um, and just paste in uh, or copy and paste. So next up I want to also delete my history which I'll do by going to edit delete by type history. Um, so we'll see that this is actually all I need to do is select these guys. Um, oops, I didn't need to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and select these guys and center uh, center click and drag and boom. I'm also going to save my scene. Oh, actually, what I want to do is I'm going to clear this so I can just see just my save scene uh, command. I'm going to go ahead and save this anyways into my uh, desktop and uh, I'm going to call this awesome cube save continue all right so I'm going to go in up and find the command save and that's that copy paste and that's really all there is to it it's it's almost laughable but if you don't know how to do it, you know, you don't know how to do it. And so hopefully this is helping you out. So I'm going to select all this stuff. Um, actually, I may want to even just start a new tab or make a new shell since that's what we covered earlier. Uh, I do that by um, clicking on this little uh, arrow, holding down the left mouse button, and I'm going to click on New Shell. I'm going to call this uh, Custom custom save alright sorry Maya okay let's call this custom alright <laughs> I already have a name for that custom test okay <laughs> that was funny alright I'm just gonna clear all this stuff out and so I'm going to select all of my ta all the uh, mail, mail scripts or commands that I've called on and I'm going to go to file in my script editor I'm going to click on file save script to shelf and I'm going to call this custom save you can actually call it whatever you want actually but I'm gonna call it custom save and that is that now you might be thinking well okay so I've got a new custom mail script um, why do I want this again well let's go ahead and go back and see how long it actually really takes me to do all this stuff so I need to uh, modify center pivot modify freeze transforms edit delete all by type history file save scene continue I, I don't know maybe I'll go back and find out how long that actually took me but it felt like it took 10 seconds um, which is unexcusable <laughs> um, I want to just click a button and be done with it and go back to work. And that's what this button does. Um, so all I have to do is just do this. Click on that. Bam. Pretty easy. Um, actually, it looks like I have a, uh, a um, error message. So I'm going to go down, open my script editor again. I'm going to clear everything. and even the bottom and I'm gonna middle mouse button and drag it into here and I'm gonna find out what I did wrong and it looks like I didn't even need this one so I'm gonna delete that and I'm going to select all this stuff again middle mouse button and you'll notice that if you do that straight in there you don't get a uh, an option to save your scene or save your your shelf button with a name and sometimes you really really want to make sure that you do have a name for it because once you start making a bunch of shelf buttons you need a way to 
sort of differentiate what does what. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and close my shelf editor or my, my script editor and I'm going to do this again. Continue. Sent parent group box layout not found. Okay, so I'm going to just go back and find out. Oh, I didn't need this. Um, so it's not always easy breezy. Sometimes you do have to do a little bit of um, sort of trial and error, but believe me, this is a lot better than uh, always having to do that, especially if you're doing it like maybe six times every t every ten minutes. Um, if you're doing it like or if you're saving your scene like twice a minute <laughs> even, because um, all of those steps really add up. Um, and this, I mean, as long as I'm doing this right now, uh, I can always um, use this in every single uh, Maya project I have to do, which makes things really easy. So I'm going to select all. I'm going to middle mouse click and drag into my shelf again. I'm going to delete this. And um, I did that by right clicking. And this little dialog pops up, and I just cl clicked on delete. I don't want to do that right now because this is my new updated version. Um, I'm going to click in, I'm going to click my object and I'm going to select this again. I'm going to continue and boom, I'm done. That was all I had to do. Um, so I hope this really helps in sort of knowing how to make a mail script. Uh, it really is easy and it, it it's also really, it, for me it's fun. <laughs> um, but it's really easy, and even if you don't know really how to do it, um, as far as like what commands you need to call on, um, it can be really easy on just opening your script editor and um, just seeing. It. Well, first of all, you have to know like what how to do it when you're in the Maya, um, uh, I guess the Maya default interface. So if you know you want to center your pivots, you just don't know what the command is. Um, the history pane will will show that to you, and if you open, remember you have to echo your commands first, because sometimes some things don't always show. Um, so let's do that again. I'm gonna uh, get rid of all that stuff. I'm gonna make sure my my object is um, selected, and I'm going to center my pivots. And that is actually what um, these are the commands to actually center your pivots. So I hope this was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, give me a buzz, and um, I don't know, keep at it. Thanks for watching. I'm Chris Moisey. Bye.